Unit 8 World Heritage Learning Outcomes After we have studied the unit, we will be able to listen for specific information, read and understand text through silent reading, ask and answer questions, describe a place. Unit 8, Lesson 4, Lake Boikal. Lake Boikal is one of the biggest freshwater lakes in the world. It contains about 20% of unfrozen and clearest surface water of the world. It is also a safe home of about 1700 species of plants and animals. UNESCO declared it as a World Heritage Site in 1996. It is thought to be the oldest lake in the world. The lake is known as the Pearls of Siberia. Read the text in section C and say whether the following statements are true or false. The water changes its color to red in stormy weather. The other lakes in the world are as deep as Lake Boikal. Lake Boikal is one of the biggest lakes in the world. A part of the lake is in Russia. It is possible to drink the water of Lake Boikal. Read the first paragraph in section C and find out the adjectives. Example, deepest, deepest, biggest, ancient, gigantic, grand, enormous, unusual, charming. Use the adjectives in your own sentences. Work in group and write a story using the adjectives. Kaptai Lake is a man-made lake located in Kaptai Upazila under Rangamati district of Chittagong Division. Tourism industry has been built in Rangamati surrounding Kaptai Lake. Visitors can enjoy many hanging bridges and hills along the lake. Describe the natural beauty of Kaptai Lake. Listen to the text about Kaptai Lake and choose the best answer. Kaptai Lake is a man-made lake in southeastern Bangladesh. This artificial lake is located in Rangamati district under Chittagong division. The lake was created for making the Kaptai Dam on the Karnafuli River and it was the part of Karnafuli hydroelectric project. The average depth of Kaptai Lake is 100 feet and maximum depth is 490 feet. The construction of this lake began in 1956 and the project of the hydroelectric plant was finished in 1962. This lake serves different purposes for the people of that region. It is the longest man-made freshwater body in Bangladesh. Although it was mainly created for hydroelectric power generation, it now contributes to produce significant quantity of fresh water. It also helps for navigation and flood control. The Kaptai Lake has developed our agriculture and fishery. As the water level of the lake is maintained at different heights in different months of the year, the lake shores are under an automatic irrigation system. For this reason, the shores are very fertile. Read the text and answer the following questions. Why was Kaptai Lake created? Kaptai Lake is a man-made lake in southeastern Bangladesh. 
This artificial lake is located in Rangamati district under Chittagong division. The lake was created for making the Kaptai Dam on the Karnafuli River and it was the part of Karnafuli hydroelectric project. The average depth of Kaptai Lake is 100 feet and maximum depth is 490 feet. The construction of this lake began in 1956 and the project of the hydroelectric plant was finished in 1962. This lake serves different purposes for the people of that region. It is the longest man-made freshwater body in Bangladesh. Although it was mainly created for hydroelectric power generation, it now contributes to produce significant quantity of fresh water. It also helps for navigation and flood control. The Kaptai Lake has developed our agriculture and fishery. As the water level of the lake is maintained at different heights in different months of the year, the lake shores are under an automatic irrigation system. For this reason, the shores are very fertile. How can Kaptai Lake help for irrigation? How long did it take to finish the whole project? What purpose does it serve? Complete the text with the words in the bracket in the right forms. Kaptai Lake is an artificial lake in Rangamati district under Chittagong division. The lake was primarily created to build the Kaptai Dam on the Karnafuli River. It is the largest man-made freshwater body in our country. Different purposes are served by this lake. It contributes to producing significant quality of fresh water, navigation, flood control and agriculture, etc. Since the water level of the lake is maintained at different heights in different months of the year, it serves as an automatic irrigation system. This lake is regarded as a great tourist spot. It is surrounded by many islands and each of the islands has been named differently.